Welcome back, Andy Lynch with Mike Abbey, the veteran wrestling coach at Allen East, coming off a very successful weekend. Allen County champions, what does that mean to, to have a small school, Division Three, go up against some WBL schools, Lima Senior, and come away as team champ? Uh, it, was, it was a good weekend. The boys wrestled real well. Uh, we're, we're glad to get that title back. It's been probably five or six years now since we've had that, but uh, uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a good weekend for us, for sure. Four champions, is that what you came yeah, home with? Yeah, we had four champs, uh, our three lightweights and our 82 pounder, uh, uh, actually all underclassmen. Wow. So uh, uh, one freshman, and I think three sophomores. So uh, pretty impressive there. So the future is a little bit bright and the junior high team is awfully solid too. So, uh, but uh, we had two seniors in the lineup and they were both pretty solid too. So uh, yeah. it, was, it was definitely a fun day. Talk about those seniors and, and how you know, they lead by example. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, Luke Brown and Lucas Freeman, both of them, uh, they're, they're three year letter winners for me. Uh, Luke was a state alternate for us last year, and uh, those guys just bring it every day. Great leaders in the room, in the locker room, in the weight room for us, and uh, um, good positive attitude about things. And everybody's there helping each other each and every day. So our, you know, the team concept in wrestling comes in at practice because we have to help each other and get each other better for those six minutes we're out there by ourselves in the individual sport. But the team is so important uh, for those couple hours a day that we're in there battling in the room. So uh, it's been fun. It's been fun season so far. Talk about those lightweights. What are, what are those matches like in the, in the mat room? Oh, I tell you what, um, Chase was our first freshman ever to be a state qualifier last year. And um, at, at 106, um, uh, he's wrestling 113 for us this year. At 106 is Jordan Kennedy. He was Allen County champ also. Chase at 113. And then Drake Carmine, another freshman at uh, 120. And Drake is pretty solid. Chase is challenged every day for wow. sure with uh, with uh, with Drake in there, and uh, those guys really battle battle it out each and every day. They're both trying to get each other better though, and we all know what the main goal is. That second week in uh, March is what we're all wrestling for. So uh, it was a good beginning, but uh, we still got a couple months of work to do. Marion Hardin's the next one after Christmas. Yes. A, a nice barometer as well, a little bit bigger tournament with all different size schools. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's we feel that if we can go place down there in Marion over the holiday, that you know six weeks later when it comes district time, we should be battling it out down there in uh, Hobart Arena and trying to make it down to the shot. So that's definitely the goal. Always a fun atmosphere down there. Oh You're yes. Trying to step out and get to state. Finally, uh, a building being built as we speak yes. for Allen East Wrestling. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, and, and how's the progress? Well, uh, it's it's getting more and more every day. Uh, last week they had the steel beams up. Uh, this week they started putting up the walls. Uh, started with the west wall and then the south wall today. Uh, when I left at noon, they only had a couple more pieces of wall to put in. Oh, wow. So I bet they probably got that done. Uh, I'm ready to see that roof go on. So I don't see you know inches of snow in the in exactly. There. But uh, it's a it's 60 by 100 foot. So it's a, a big a nice big building. And then uh, we're putting on uh, like a 15 foot uh, training training room out oh, there wow. okay. so the football and soccer and all the you know, all the spring and fall sports will have a spot and then obviously for wrestling too for a training room but uh, 85 by 60 so 51 5100 square feet so uh, I, I said I know my voice will make it to the end and I know my whistle I got a big old screeching whistle Fox 40 and I know both of them will make it to the end of the room real, without a problem so that's great well, we're excited we're looking to, forward to it. see that when that comes coach Abby thanks for being here tonight hey thank you Andy you appreciate bet. it we will walk over to the guys here in their festive Christmas sweaters I don't know who's who's best I think I'd take that home I think we should have a wrestle off for best mm -hmm. sweater who's gonna win that uh-oh. <laughs> Let's start with the senior over here, Luke Brown. What a weight class at 152 on Saturday. You were challenged all the way. Nice victory over Calvin Brown to get third place. But what was that like going against those guys so early in the season? Uh, yeah, it was a good test early. Um, Joey Caprella, obviously, he won MVP. He ended up winning the weight class. He's tough. And, I mean, I didn't wrestle as best as I could that match, but... I'll be back. And then, like you said, it was a good win over Brown. I've wrestled him four times now, and all of them have been within three points. So he's always a tough contest, and it was a good way to start off. What's it like to be a senior? Can you believe it? No, I really can't. It's going by fast. How do you lead this team? What, what are some of the things that you want to do to kind of leave your stamp? Well, we have a really good biddies program and junior high program building up right now. 
So something I've really tried to take in this year is taking a leadership role that's going to continue on after I leave so that the team atmosphere is always grinding for, like our coach talked about in March, it's not grinding for Allen County titles. Sure, sure. Lots to, lots to do still down the road. Garrett Nath, champion at 182. Uh, how's the week of practice been? Did you kind of get a break here for Christmas and then get back at it in Marion? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Me and the heavyweight practice all the time and keep my partner every day and keep working and yeah. What's that like? You're giving up 100 pounds to him probably, right? Yeah, just right on the money every day, me and him. I weigh 182, he's 182. I weigh, like today, I was 183, he's one, uh, 283. <laughs> wow. So. Does he ever get you? Oh, yeah. And, and that hurts, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> that hurts just a little. We push each other. New facility. What, what's that going to mean for Allen East Wrestling? you got a couple years left here. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be nice. It's going to be great for the wrestling team. I mean, because we're going to be the junior high and the high school is all going to be together and we're working together and pushing each other and teaching each other. It's that team atmosphere Coach Abby was talking about. Chase Cabrella, yeah. first freshman ever to make it to state uh, at Allen East. Uh, do you think about that, your experience last year yet? Um, sometimes. I try not to look back on it too much, though. I'm trying to look forward to going back. Sure. How hard is it to find state-level competition? You'll have several tournaments throughout the year, but at 113, I mean, there are only five guys wrestling this past Saturday. Are there, is it hard kind of to get you know, through different parts of the season when you're not necessarily seeing that good competition? Yeah, it's tough, but you got to go out there and work what you can work and keep on pushing yourself and work hard in the practice room every day. Speaking of which, how about those freshmen at 106 and 120? They're pushing you, Coach Abby said. Yep, every day in the practice room, going hard, learning every day, grinding it out. What are you looking forward to, to most? Christmas and presents, uh, Marion, thinking ahead to state, where, where is your mindset right March, now? second weekend in March. That's where you're at. Shot right. Scene Center. Well, Allen East wrestlers, uh, congratulations last weekend. Uh, big victory, but that's only the beginning. And you guys are looking on towards March once again. Thanks to Coach Abby and the Mustangs for being here up next.